Cook County's database says he's a full-time employee making $86,000 a year. But when we went to the Recorder of Deeds office to find him... Looking for Frank Zuccarelli. Frank Zuccarelli is on the second floor. So that's where we went. Here to see Frank Zuccarelli. Frank Zuccarelli doing a he's, he's not here? They sent us to the Markham Courthouse. Again, no Frank Zuccarelli. So we checked at Thornton Township Hall, where he makes 56 grand a year as township supervisor. Uh, he's not here. He's not here right now? No, sir. Okay. Does he work here during the day? No, he works over in uh, Markham during the day. Oh, he does? Mm -hmm. Okay. But he has a full-time job here, right? Yes, he does. Okay. Nor was he at South Suburban College, where he's the unpaid president of the Board of Trustees, or at Thornton Township Democratic Headquarters, where he's a powerful committeeman. He's looking for Frank Zuccarelli. Oh, I'm sorry, Frank's not here. I think that the, the primary concern is not that he's holding all these jobs, but that he's doing all of these jobs. Yes, I am, said Zuccarelli when we finally caught up with him. He says both public payroll jobs are actually part-time, even though they're budgeted full-time. People may have thought that, you know, I'm collecting a full-time salary and I'm only there part-time, but that's certainly not the case. I only get paid for the hours that I put in. Now, Cook County Board President Todd Stroger has appointed Zuccarelli to a $38,000 a year job on a panel that hears claims of discrimination and patronage by county workers. Inherently, it is the fox watching the hen house. As a person whose primary purpose was to get people patronage jobs, he's now going to stand in judgment of that process. But I certainly don't feel that I'm getting it because of anything political. I think I'm getting it because of my experience. Zuccarelli says he'll quit his job at the Recorder of Deeds office when that appointment takes effect. It still has to be approved by the county board. Dane Placco, Fox Chicago News.